Let's talk about uh, Shiba Inu, guys, because a new article in uh, Fortune.com suggesting a few reasons as to why Robinhood may or may not actually list and give access to its clients to Shiba Inu. Here's a few points for you, uh, what to expect in this conversation. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about, could they just be buying before they actually add it to their system? And we'll show you a few comments that the COO of crypto trading made, including, yeah, they're in no rush to add Shiba to Robinhood and the recent data breach. Uh, an opinion had them suggesting that maybe that would be a good way to kind of shift the PR back to the uh, positive side. But uh, here we go. This is the uh, title that uh, we're, we're talking about here on Fortune.com. Robinhood saying they might not need coins like Shiba Inu uh, on their platform. Is this just stalling, guys? Uh, look, uh, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and speculate whether they're just stalling. I know a lot of people are saying, okay, could they be, could they be stocking up so they can get some inventory um, before they eventually do it? There is a line in here that's at least a little bit interesting. Uh, you know, they said they're not in a rush to add some of those new coins. And then one of the lines they did say, while not speaking on the specifics, uh, the firm is wary of listing volatile coins that might be dangerous for customer for consumers or violate regulatory compliance. Now, obviously, you know, we, we do know Robinhood has been in the crosshairs, I, I suppose, of, of regulators in the past. I think that's one thing you want to consider that maybe pumps the brakes on the, the notion that they're just doing this to, to stall out and, and stock up. I'm not sure that's going to be true. I think that's maybe a little bit tinfoil uh, hat conspiracy theory. It's not impossible, certainly. And, and, and the reality is, if I'm, I'm only here's the thing: if, if you look at the pullback that it's made in, in Shiba Inu, if, if you were on these highs and not sort of trending back into the into the downside, I really doubt that that kind of a theory would actually get out there if it was on those highs. But because the price is actually fading in, it's a little bit easier for people to lean into that notion that maybe they're just sort of stalling it out. They do plan on doing it, and they're stocking up. Obviously. Robinhood, if this is going to be, like, if she was going to last, I'm sure Robinhood, at least it makes sense if they're looking to add it at some point, if it continues to have interest, they probably just have to cross their T's and dot their I's, and that's legit. I mean, they, they, they're under the radar, and they're a big company that wants to last, so they want to make sure they do everything right, so I don't necessarily think they're stalling, <laughs> they're probably just doing some diligence. I just love, yeah, I just love the rhetoric, like they're trying to protect the customers and do what's good for them. <laughs> and that. we all know what Robin Hood uh, has been, well, not accused of, or, but basically what happened during the AMC and GME days. Look, I mean, I have the Shiba Inu uh, chart up here, just like Neil did. Uh, I'm using CoinGecko here. Look, it's down 40% the last 16 days. We obviously had a, a fantastic run, so we're not really looking at that, nor are we looking at the 93 million percent uh, that it's up here year to date. So, you know, are they buying it? I mean, I don't see, I mean, I don't see big volume spikes here, uh, but obviously if you're going to host a market, they should have some inventory. So that makes sense to me there. Um, do I think that Shiba Inu is going to go up? So for me personally, I'm in this coin and I do have a stop around this five... I'll call it five cent mark, but it's five there. I think if you break below, and, and you know, you could trade these like stocks uh, where you just have stop orders, you know, a break here of six, I guess, uh, is a good level. There's so many different, li like, you know, a break of six, but there's six, one, six, two, which makes a big difference uh, on all of this. So I think you can just look at a chart and, and, and take it for what it is. Look, the more acceptance of a coin, the better. So, you know, I might have a Robinhood account, but I don't have a Coinbase account. So if I want to buy Shiba Inu, it's great. Now I can do it in one spot. I can keep all my crypto together. And I think that's really what Robinhood's trying to do. I like the move. I think the more availability, the more widely available to trade um, this coin is, Bitcoin, anything. We know PayPal's moving into the space. Well, is it there? Square. Um, all, all, all the big guys now, I think anyways, have some kind of an option to trade some of these coins. So, hey, look, let's bring Robinhood on board. We didn't, I don't even know if we mentioned the poll, but the poll now, what's over 500,000 yeses, yeah. uh, the petition to get signed for uh, them to join Robinhood. So, hey, look, I own Shiba Inu. I've been getting in, in and out of it. It's just kind of, for me, it's just a trade. Uh, but hey, when momentum is there in names, we've seen it happen in the stock market. And obviously it's happened to Shiba Inu over the last 12 months. So let the party on uh, continue. And just add one thing before we sort of maybe even wrap this up, is you got to keep in mind, like Robin Hood has been under a lot of pressure. We talked about this. Look at the shares on their bottoms. Like you don't think, especially after some of the recent data breaches and the issues that they've had, if this is something that they think is going to give them a positive headline, I 
I think they're, of course, going to be looking to make that addition to the best of their abilities, but they probably have to be careful. Like, there's no chance that they don't want to be a part of this craze, and they're seriously, they have to be seriously thinking about it. So there's certainly something to it. It's likely to happen in the future. I'm not sure they're stalling. Though. I, yeah, I was going to say, uh, before we throw it back to like, I don't know why they would stall. I mean, there is a technicality there of setting up wallets and things like that. But if they, uh, again, without knowing too much about what's involved there, it does seem like it should have happened already. And look, the, uh, the volume, the volatility has kind of gone away over the past couple of weeks. So maybe this is, you know, a little bit of incentive for uh, Shiba Inu to get going again. And that is obviously uh, if. Maybe when Robinhood jumps on the Shiba Inu bandwagon, guys. That's a little look at Robinhood and uh, Shiba Inu.